it's really sunny again today. It's like every wardrobe video I film is just bright as heck. So I'm really sorry if the sun changes, goes in and out. Oh my God, my microphone. No, it's fine. It's fine, Lucy, it's fine. So today we are doing my spring capsule wardrobe video, which basically means I get my little drawer out from under my bed. I look in my wardrobe. I pull everything that exists out and put it on my bed and I work out what I'm gonna put in my spring wardrobe and what's gonna go under my bed because it's not seasonally appropriate or I just wanna give it a rest. You know, there's plenty of reasons. And I also show you the couple of new things that I've picked up. Speaking of which, I'm considering naming this a wardrobe edit as opposed to a capsule wardrobe because I get a lot of feedback saying, oh, a capsule wardrobe doesn't look like this. And while I think a capsule wardrobe is open to interpretation, I also don't want to mislead anyone. So I've added probably about eight items this time around because I finally feel like I found my style, which is wonderful, but it does mean there's a lot of bits that need kind of bringing in. So whilst I feel like I'm buying a lot more at the moment, I really do feel like it's a temporary thing. Not that I need to justify what I buy, but I just wanna to explain to you why it might feel like I buy a little bit more over these spring and summer and the last winter hauls. It's just cause I feel like I really know what I want now. So there's a lot less decision making in a way. I know what I want, I know what pieces are missing, and as I can, I'm adding them in. And just to clarify, because I get these comments on every video, I'm not buying a whole new wardrobe. I'm buying a couple more pieces to add to the pieces I already have. Yeah. Okay, welcome to my wardrobe. Sorry, it doesn't open very far. I don't know if you've met my wardrobe properly before, but welcome. And it houses my stuff. So this is the point where I get everything out and put it on my bed. Right, let's do that. I just got everything out. I have left in there just two dresses that I, uh, one of them I really, really want to wear and I was kindly gifted by free people. I'm just waiting for the right time because it's such a summery dress. And the second one is a dress I wear all the time to like events, work things, where you need to look a little bit fancy, but not too fancy. So that stayed in there as well. Oh, let's start from the beginning. This is my wonderful cashmere jumper from Uniqlo. I don't think I should keep it out because it is so, so warm. Hopefully I won't be needing it. So I think I'll fold it up and put that under my bed. It is the best jumper though, honestly. Next is this lovely mango knit that I bought really recently. It is perfect for spring and summer, definitely staying out. Oh. For the record, I fold all of my knitwear. Sorry, I don't know if you can see me, so I dart in. I'm folding all my knitwear and putting it on my top shelf, which you can kind of see up there and then I hang everything else that's, you know, a day-to-day -day wear. And then shoes go outside, like, my room. Bags are down in this, like, there's another bit of, I'll show you. It's a whole other bit of the wardrobe that's just, like, storage for me. And then my bags go down there. Coats and jackets on the hanger outside. <gasps> I should really bring my coats and jackets in here, you know? Maybe I will, we'll see. Next, we move on to this glorious cashmere knit from Everlane. As you know, I love this. It's absolutely so in my style. Perfect for spring and summer, straight back in. I like how I'm saying spring and summer because I'm in such a summer mindset, even though it's only spring. I got a bit excited the other day and bought something a bit summery, like two things that are a little bit summery and I'm already looking for summer stuff, which is not healthy. But I feel like because you always want stuff in waves, embrace the waves as they come and then you won't get to that point where you're like, oh, I need a bikini, it's the week before my holiday and you buy something crap. These are all my thoughts. Okay, fingers crossed sweater goes straight back in. I've worn this now solidly ever since I released it. This is just the comfiest, coziest sweater. I can't, honestly, it sounds silly, but I can't recommend it enough. It actually does need a wash. Ooh. Oh my God, I forgot about this. Oh, I love this so much. This is a Brandy Melville knit that I've had for maybe three or four years now. I really, really love it. It's uh, just like this really nice thin salt and pepper. Oh, it's great. You're going straight back in. There's also one knit that's going back in but isn't like here right now. It's in the wash and that is my dinosaur knit, which I'll try and post a picture up of here. It's really good. I have a lot of knitwear I'm realizing. I've got maybe like 10 items, but this guy, this is a Uniqlo, Oh, I don't know, merino wool maybe jumper? No, it's not merino wool. It's just a nice Uniqlo jumper, but it's really thick and a polo neck. So you are going over into the basket of fun. Again, another really, really lovely jumper. This is from H&M. I bought it two years ago, a year ago. Really, really love it. But unfortunately, my skin has been really irritated. It always gets really bad through December. Yeah, December to February. And I just can't wear it unless I'm wearing a polo neck. So it hasn't unfortunately had that much use this year. And if my skin gets worse, I'd probably have to give it away. But anyway, right now, in the pile to go under my bed. Oh, this is a great thing. This is from Weekday. And it is, I don't know if you can see, it's just a really plain, basic hoodie. But it's so comfy and so casual and nice just for days where you just want a hoodie. 
so I'll keep that out. It does get a little bit foundation stained around here though, so I need to give it a wash. Oh, I'm getting out of breath doing all this. And then, of course, the classic, this lovely Christmas jumper, which I only really wear around December and January, but I think is incredible. It's the only Christmas jumper I will ever need that can go back under my bed. Also, I've stolen this format entirely from the Anna Edit. I love the way she does this stuff. Oh, and a final knit. I completely forgot about this. Oh, this is a difficult one. This is a huge And Other Stories jumper that I bought this year. I think I'll keep this out because there will be colder days. It's kind of a middle ground, like it's big, but it's not that thick. So I'll keep that out just in case. I tend to wear jumpers more than I wear jackets. I'm just really used to layering a top and a jumper. I find tops and jackets really like, I'm trying to get into it, but I find it hard. Okay, right, right, right. Two jumpsuits. They're both going back in. That is this one here, which you might have seen. It's my boiler suit from Mango. Adore this. So much use out of it. It's great. I really want some like nice nude underwear to wear underneath it, so I'm like, oh, hello. And the next one, this is coming back into the wardrobe. If you remember this from before, this went away for winter, but was around and awesome. This is from ASOS. It's a really loose, lovely, flowy jumpsuit. Love it for summer. I'm hoping I'll get some use out of it in spring as well, because it keeps your legs legs warm. Your legs warm. Oh, and then I just pulled this out of my wardrobe, and I think I'm going to give it to my sister, because it really, really suits her, and she always wears it when she's over. But it's this Olive and Frank jacket. It's so nice but on the back it's a bad girls club and i just feel super conspicuous when i wear it especially in london so i don't ever get to wear it unfortunately i wore it to taylor swift which was the perfect environment but this i don't know i think this is going to go to my sister when she's back rowan hope you enjoy it and if not it will obviously go to charity shop or to a friend all of my clothes when they are unable to be worn by me anymore will either go to a friend to a charity shop or it will be clothing recycled if it's completely like if it's like socks or like underwear, but you know, I rarely clothing recycle. Let me show you this beautiful dress before I forget. This is the gorgeous dress that I want to wear over summer. It's just so, so nice. You kind of, you can kind of see it. Here's a difficult one. I think I'm gonna give this dress away. I was gifted it by free people last year. It's really beautiful, but it just isn't my style at all. And I only realized that once it arrived, I think I asked for the black one, but it arrived in this kind of blush pink. And it is just so pink and very, very effeminate. And it's so cool, but it's just not for me. So I think I might give that to someone else as well. Bye-bye, nice pink dress. Now, let's move on to trousers. Let's start with my incredible Levi's, these are perfect for spring and summer. I don't really get use out of them in autumn and winter because they're quite cropped. So I don't have any high boots to wear them with. They're very cute, very nice. I look a bit weird if I just wear cropped things. Now these are a problem. You may notice I've bought a lot of pairs of jeans since I started my capsule wardrobe and that's because I have real, real trouble finding jeans that fit me. And often I kid myself into believing they fit me. And these are a pair of jeans that I've kidded myself into believing they fit. These are the weekday voyage jeans they are just a size too small. They are so uncomfortable to wear. I love the colour, I love the design, but I'm gonna have to give them away and it, it's gutting, but they're just not comfortable. And it's specifically because of they're designed very straight and I am like this. So my hips just don't fit and everything feels taut and tight. I can't sit down properly. Not great. Skirt wise, this incredible skirt from Mango is definitely staying in. I love it. And in addition, this satin skirt from Topshop, I bought it secondhand on Depop. I, this is the only satin skirt I need. I'm so in love. I think I'm gonna put this great, great, pretty little thing top back into storage. It's a very wintry one. It makes me really nostalgic for when I was like four and five or six and I go to like little school discos and things and I'd always wear this kind of like, don't know if you can see it. It's kind of a fabric that's woven in with glitter and it's really lovely. I love this top but not a summer thing for me. I forgot a jumper, it was buried so deep, but this is staying out. It's, a, it's not summery, so I'll definitely have to put it away for summer, but I can't bear to put it away right now, even though it's super thick. It's this cropped jumper, it's from And Other Stories. It's oversized, got these folded sleeves. I have worn this so much since I got it. Adora, you can go back in, but I really won't be wearing it beyond spring. When I was digging around in my box of stuff, I found two pairs of jeans that I think I'm gonna bring back out because I love a lighter wash. The first is these Urban Outfitters BDG jeans. They are the axle cut. They are not the most flattering on me. They're not bad, but they're not great. <laughs> I don't know, but they are a straight leg and I do love the color. So I think I'll give them another go. And then I found these as well. These are the Orson jeans from Topshop. And they also have a straight leg. I can't remember what these look like on me at all. I remember really loving the Orson cut, but I don't know, so I'm gonna try both of those back on. I'll put them in the wardrobe for now, which is great though, because I was thinking about getting 
like a mid-tone straight leg jean. And if these both fit, then I don't need to even think about it, which is great. I love this color though, this kind of real like denim denim blue. Oh, so dreamy. And then I was thinking, and I was like, I haven't worn these trousers. I think I put them away for like about a year and a half. I didn't wear them, but I love them so much. So I think they're coming back out. They are these trapeze, I guess, maybe trapeze trousers in this green color. I've had them for, since I was in uni, I think it was one of the first really good purchases I made in uni. And I got them tailored so the waist would fit me. They're from ASOS originally. And they're so nice and I love walking around with them in like a really nice loose shirt and some Birkenstocks. I wouldn't normally wear green, but I think they're really nice. Like a nice sagey green. So they're going back in. I do need to get a steamer though. I'm thinking about getting one of those Spenny steamers because they look so useful. Then we have some jeans, some black jeans. I think I might have mentioned last year, but I really wanted to get my jeans game sorted for the ones I wear multiple times a week. I just find that if I buy cheap jeans, they wear through super, super fast. So I really wanted two pairs of black jeans that would just be, you know, they last. And I found them, I think. I'm getting both of them tailored. Went to my local tailor and she said she won't do them because <laughs> it's a long story, but basically the tailor doesn't like doing denim. So I'm gonna take them elsewhere. But this, this is the first pair. These are a mum pair and they are by Nudie Jeans. If you know Nudie, they're a wonderful company. I believe this is made with organic cotton and you get free repairs for life. They really believe that jeans are for life. And I think it's a really wonderful philosophy. So they're a nice mum pair. For the record, when I say I'm gonna get something tailored, I'm gonna get the waist taken in and I'm gonna get them hemmed, just like a little bit. Do I mean that? The taken up on the leg, just like, a tad so that they fit in a like slightly slightly cropped way lol i love how i try to do this in order and i still forgot stuff this is a great jumper from and of the stories it's this really stretchy kind of jersey like thick thick jersey material it's got um polo neck it's incredibly warm so you're going in to storage for a year so these guys are still getting some wear whilst i sort out replacing them but these are my moto denim which is top shop uh just straight leg jeans they're so good, but they shrink every time you wash them, like really intensely in the leg. And so obviously they don't really fit my leg anymore, which is so gutting. I love them, but this was why I, this was what provoked the whole, I need to get better quality jeans because I can't buy new ones every year, like, or every, well, for me, the amount I wear these, I should have really got new ones six months ago. It is just unsustainable, but you're going back in until I get the other ones tailored. This is the second new pair of jeans. I'm not gonna get them off the off the hanger because they don't need it. They're just straight leg jeans. They're quite tight, quite straight, but they've still got a bit of looseness at the ankle. And they are from MIH, which is a really great brand. Everything's made of organic cotton. It's lovely, it's sustainable. I really rate them. And they do jeans that fit me. And I thought I really wanted that pair of like quite straight, smart jeans. I can wear stuff. So I'm getting these taken up ever so slightly at the ankle. That's why they still got their tag on, but they're coming into my wardrobe and I'm so excited. Also, I tend to go for like a charcoal wash. So they're like a proper true black. This is the pair I'm most excited for. I'm so excited for these. These are the weekday. They're the row, the row star jeans. And they are in this incredible, like, it's kind of like an off, off cream color. It's got this little like speckling through it. I saw them in the shop and I was like, I love them, but I know how I feel about weekday jeans. I need to get them taken in. So I got the size that fits best on my hips and lengthwise they need slight tapering. Like at the moment they're folded and then I need the waist taken in quite a bit, but I love them. They're just such a gorgeous color, such a nice texture, such a nice jean. And they're made of organic cotton as well, actually, which was kind of like the decider for me. Back in you go. And then finally, these are my Jamie jeans from Topshop. These are, they get a lot of love, especially while my other jeans have been shrinking. They don't have a great life unless you are happy to repair, which I hope most people are now. They tend to always break like on this inseam bit by your crotch, which isn't ideal, but um, I love them dearly. And I do just sometimes have phases where I wear my skinny jeans for a whole season, but I'm currently not in one of those. I've got way too many jeans out right now. So these can go in the box under the bed. Something else is going back into storage is this skirt. I don't know what to do with this skirt. I really like it, but every time I wear it, I feel like a sausage in a skin. Now it might be just because I gained a bit of weight since I bought it, but also like, it really does make your body kind of like, you know, if you've got hips, you know what I mean, but when stuff's not designed, or if it's designed a little bit A-lined, that doesn't mean A-lined, that means it fits. 
this is what it looks like. It's very good for nights out with tights and boots, but I am not wearing nights out tights and boots life anymore. So not right now. Oh, these are another one that need to be tailored. These are incredible. They are, <laughs> the color is something like burnt chili and they're from Free People. And they're these, let me show you. They're these like wide leg trouser and I was gifted them very kindly last year. And I've had a bit of wear out of them, but they're just too big on the waist. They will look so nice when they're taken in. I'll take them to the tailors and then they'll be great. This is something I should mention that I've really, really noticed about my buying habits in the past year is that the only time I'm really giving stuff away is when it really wasn't my style to begin with and I don't know why I got it and when it doesn't fit. And those are always, always trousers and skirts. So I'm really trying to make it my absolute mission this year to only buy stuff if I'm gonna get it tailored or get it sorted and to tailor and sort out all the clothes I currently have so I can actually work out if I like them. I really like a lot of these things, but they just don't fit. Final item over here in our summer things is this cute little long skirt. I'm still deciding whether this fits me right. I think it makes me look a bit like a milkmaid, but when I undo the buttons a bit, it looks really cute. So I'm gonna keep wearing it for this season. It's got these great pockets as well. You can hide snacks. As you can see, nice tortoiseshell buttons. I was gifted this by Urban Outfitters last year. Really appreciate it. So yeah, you can go back in the cupboard. It's so interesting. This is again another thing about not having stuff tailored or fitting right. I always feel like I rotate between about three different trousers because I just don't feel like anything else fits me or makes me look nice. But then when I get it all sorted, hopefully it will just be like magic. Anyway, let's move on to tops and let's move on to a new one. This is a gorgeous white shirt, very oversized, that was gifted to me kindly by our cats. It's from their like main range for women. Oh, I just love it so much. They styled it so well, they styled it with like cycling shorts on the website. And now I'm desperately in need of some cycling shorts that can make me look like all cool and edgy. It's like smart lady going to work vibe, but also I'm cool. I'm not like other yummy mummies. I'm a cool mom. So you're going straight in. At the moment there's one or two tops that are in the wash so you won't see them right now. So it might not look like I'm putting many tops back in. But believe me, there are definitely enough. Ooh. Tops are one of the few things where I really feel kind of sorted. The only thing I would say that I'm thinking about with tops is buying maybe one or two more just to replace ones that are about five or six years old. I have one or two that I've had since my first year of uni and they really are completely worn. You know when the fabric starts to feel thin? <laughs> like that level. I'm not in a rush. Maybe for summer. Oh, let's talk about one of my favorite things I bought recently. This is a lovely top from Mango. It's ribbed, it's quite thin. It's a really nice transitional piece. I'm 100% keeping this in for spring. Next, we go on to another cropped polo neck thing. That's what this is. Oh, I've had this for years and I adore it still. I can't wait to wear this some more. It's cropped so it kind of, you can have a little bit of belly. So I think I'll keep that in. My favorite shirt. I really wanted to have quite a light palette for this season, but obviously I still love black. I'm always in black. And this charcoal colored shirt from weekday is my ride or die. I love it so much. It's slightly cropped, it's very oversized. I wear it specifically in evening events as well, like it's a real evening, an evening piece for me and it feels so nice. I think they've actually just restocked it because I got it last year. If they have restocked it, I'll link it below. Obviously loads of things will be linked below. I think this is gonna go into storage. This is a Uniqlo shirt that it's quite fitted and I'm currently really into oversized stuff, but I know there will be a time, especially when I eventually, hopefully get a suit, like a proper fitted suit, then there'll be a time where I really want to wear this. So I think I'm just gonna put it under my bed for now. And then there is this beautiful wrap top. It's black as well. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but it's from Topshop. I bought it last year. I have had so much wear out of it. It's just every time I go to a thing where I'm like, is it smart? Is it casual? I don't know. Pop on the silky wrap top. Ooh, I love this. This is one of those things where, do you ever consider getting rid of something? You know, like giving it away. And then you think, no, I really think that there'll be one day where I really want to wear this. This t-shirt is that perfect example. This is a Led Zeppelin tee that I bought from Brandy Melville a couple of years ago. And I really, really liked it when I bought it, but I tried it on and it didn't go with what I was wearing at the time. But I was like, you know what? You're definitely gonna want this. And I do want it. And now it goes with my whole wardrobe and I'm so happy I kept it. So you're straight in that. I can tell you're gonna get them a lot. I think I'm gonna get more wear out of this guy as well. I always go through phases with this t-shirt. It says, feelings are facts and it's from weekday. I think it's really cool, but it is just enormous. So you have to be able to tuck it in. Now this is a hard one. I think I'm gonna keep this out for cold days when I can just wear it with a jacket. It is this Uniqlo 
roll neck. It's heat tech though, so it's very, it's very warm. <laughs> when it wants to be warm, it's very warm. But it's a lovely off-white shade, and I love it so much. You may have seen on my Instagram story the other day, I spilled coffee all over it, and it's come out entirely. I'm so happy. Oh, this is going in the laundry, but I thought I'd show it quickly. Um, I bought this really cute top on offer, like I think it was on sale at Urban Outfitters last year. So cute, definitely staying. I love this, it's such a spring design, like having the little embroidered flower on there. And it's in my colour palette. Yeah, but it does smell. And the standard basic white tee, this is an And Other Stories organic cotton white tee. It's wonderful as per. Problem with white tees is they don't really have a long, long shelf life unless you wear them not, not as regularly as you would in a capsule wardrobe. And unfortunately this is developing pit stains slightly, but it's still definitely got another season or two in it. So I'm definitely keeping it. Let me know if you know a way to bleach pit stains, because I would love to keep this t-shirt for longer. Finally. There is this little cropped tee that I got last year, I think last year or the year before from Topshop, that just looks really nice with like a little jean and stuff. It makes me look a little weird because I have a small top half anyway, but it is cute, so... Whew. Now generally I keep my bags in use for all seasons, but I did think I really wanted like, like a summery look. Like it's smaller than a backpack, but it can still hold stuff. And I saw this on Mango and I fell absolutely in love with it. So I bought it quite prematurely because I feel like I'll wear this on holiday a lot, but it's great and it's got this little tie here, not the most secure thing in the world. If you open it up, there's just fabric inside and it will easily hold my camera. It would just be really nice like holding all my bits and like it's still quite, kind of like on you so it doesn't feel like, it's in your eye line basically and it's shut. Really, really, really love this. It's not been warm enough to use it yet, but as soon as it is warm enough to use it, Oh, I can't wait. Anyway, that's currently on a hanger in my wardrobe at the back. Also, I should probably show this back because I haven't shown it yet. This is all I've worn since January. I ordered it on ASOS because I really, really wanted the APC Half Moon bags and I really wanted this particular like colorway and it's got like a kind of faux croc print. I really, really wanted it. They didn't have it in stock and I saw this on ASOS for 18 pounds and just went in straight away. I was like, great, cool. And it's faux leather, it's got a nice strap. I just wear it crossbody like this and I wear it pretty much every day. If I'm not using my backpack, I'm probably using this. As you may notice, the plant has moved and maybe the screen. That is because I just went out to show you the only new pair of shoes. I remember for winter, I got the Everlane boots and I also, for summer, but I bought them in winter, got the Everlane pumps. Uh, they're gorgeous. I don't think they stock them anymore, but I can't wait to bring them out for spring and summer. And then I wanted a smart trainer <laughs> because there's only so much you can do with a pair of Air Max 95s. So I went for these beiges. These were kindly gifted to me by our cat. They are made of sustainably sourced and fairly traded rubber and leather, and they are made of organic cotton on the inside. So I was instantly like, yeah, pick these over Adidas any day. And they're just really lovely and smart and beautiful. So I'm breaking those in at the moment. They're really lovely. I feel like from there, we've pretty much got it, haven't we? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed. When it's in my capsule wardrobe, be rejigged. I hope you are able to find some inspiration from that. I'm sorry I'm not styling everything today, but I'm sure that will be coming up soon. I've linked everything in the description if you are interested. It will all be below, or at least everything that's still available. And if not, I might post alternatives or dupes, something similar at least. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.